Basically, I'm just with you. I can't tell you how they settled on uh, Willie Monroe Jr., but overall, it's a good fight. Willie Monroe Jr. is actually a pretty good fighter, 19-1 and one with uh, six KOs. I watched him a lot in uh, 2014, and he beat up uh, Brian Vera early this year. Right now, it's Friday, uh, March the 13th. 2015. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com and Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin via Twitter, social media announced that um, uh, or tweeted that he'll be fighting Willie Monroe Jr. May the 16th, and it's looking like it's going to be in the forum. Um, first, okay, let's talk about who he's not fighting. Um, fans want Miguel Cotto. Fans, uh, well, fans feel you know, and I'm going to say not. Listen, I'm going to, I'm going to. Isolated to myself, I feel that Miguel Cotto does not want to fight Gennady Golovkin at this point in his career. The WBC has made Gennady Golovkin no, well. The WBC has made Golovkin the mandatory for Miguel Cotto. So therefore, Miguel Cotto gets one voluntary defense of his title or one voluntary fight, um, and he's going to be taking that fight June the sixth. It's not Gennady Golovkin as we see, and um, after that, he has to fight. Uh, Gennady Golovkin or vacate his title. Now, will Rock Nation does does Rock Nation want um, Miguel Cotto to fight Gennady Golovkin? In my opinion, to be honest with you, I think they would want that. I personally think that I think that Miguel Cotto is 50-50 on the fight. I think that if the fight does happen, it'll be at a catch weight. But of course, both of these guys have to win their next fights. Now, maybe Golovkin and his team know something that we don't as far as, I will take Willie Monroe Jr. now who, um, you know, I got Golovkin winning. Willie Monroe Jr. has never been stopped. In fact, you know, his only fight that he lost was, you know, what I call one of those rites of passage fighters in our Darnell Boom. You know, guys like uh, um, Chop Chop Corley, Darnell Boone, who else? Um, basically, guys, you know, that the that, that you have to get through, in my opinion, before you go on to the next level. Or guys that are that seem to be always right there for up-and-coming boxers to fight and have tough fights with before they go on to the next level. Willie Mon Monroe Jr. didn't win that fight and didn't rematch either. For example, um, Sergey Kovalev had that uh, draw with uh, Darnell Boone. You know, so... Um, Willie Monroe Jr. is going to be moving in, in a lot. Uh, the six KOs, he can throw. He can throw a lot of punches, but at the same time, he's not going to sit there right there next to Golovkin. Now, it's a shame because I actually got him losing a, a close. Put it this way, not a close. I said a, a early knockout, but we will see. Um, and it's crazy because I gave Martin Murray more chance than I'm giving Willie Monroe Jr. And it's crazy. But you know, look at it like this. No Billy Joe Saunders, um, maybe a Chris Eubank Jr. next year, uh, Peter Quillen, you know, no, uh, Danny Jacobs, no, um, Turiano Johnson, maybe Jorge Highland, yes, that, that's, that, that's what I was hearing before, that's a fight that could possibly happen, also, he's the WBC number one after the number one um, um, uh, mandatory basically. So you got him and Turiano Johnson right there, basically. Um, who should be fighting each other? Actually, you know, I don't know if they train together or whatever the case may be, but they should be fighting each other. Um, who else in the 160 pound division? You got uh David Lemieux. He's taking on Hassan Endam, so you know that's a very tough fight for him. You got um, who else? You got Canelo fighting James Kirkland. You got Andy Lee sewn up with Peter Quillen. So if you really look at it, I mean, and, and the fact that Golovkin is, is, is being as active as he is, you know, fighting in February, then fighting in May, you know, then might most likely fighting in something like September, you know, then at the end of the year, you know, give him, you know, don't give him too much shit is basically what I'm trying to say. Don't give him too much shit. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good fight. It's a good, solid fight for a stay-busy champion. You get me? So we should be grateful that this guy's fighting four times a year. You know, let's not let's not forget how active he is. And he's fighting all the guys that are in front of him outside. Well, the guys that he wants to fight will not fight him. Almost too, almost similar to a, a Guillermo Rigondeaux situation. So we have to give him a little bit of slack. May 16th is the date. Um, Gennady Golovkin, 32-0 and 0 with, uh, what is he, uh, 29, 28. I believe 29 KOs. Uh, Willie Monroe Jr., 19 and 1 with 6 KOs. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live at RealCombatMedia.com. Please subscribe.